Hey guys, it is hot out. <laughs> it's fucking hot. It rained like several times today, but it is fucking hot. Just got back from uh, Dollar General, as you can see. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's hot. I mean, I fucking left at 7 o'clock or so. It's been cloudy pretty much all day. No, doesn't help. But I was like, I better go out because I've got the next two days off because I'm only allowed to work three days a week. So I worked yesterday and I've got stuff to do here tomorrow. So I was like, I'm coming in tomorrow. <clears throat> My boss was like, OK, I'm like, well, what about Thursday and Friday? Do you want me to come in Thursday or do you want me to come in Friday? So I've got Wednesday or tomorrow and Thursday off and I go back to work Friday. And the next week will be just normal because we've got the. um landlady coming tomorrow to check the wet spots in the on the on the ceiling to you know because of the roof so i i, I just don't trust anyone in the house anymore every time she comes over she fucking leaves the doors open so the last thing i need is the fucking you know sam getting in here you know getting on my computer and like having me coming home and finding it on the fucking ground or something so i was like no i'll just i, I had tubes that i needed to catch up on so but <sighs> got to work at like 7:40 and then <clears throat> I did I had about 15 boxes left. I got down to 5, which I would have gotten down to none. But can you guys take a wild guess why I didn't get to finish the tubes? I got the bailout. You know, I I so I called the um I called my boss and said, "Hey, could you have, you know, their boss send down someone to kick the tubes?" And keep in mind, this was at like 10 o'clock. I left at like 1231. No one had been down there to collect the tubes, to, to pull the bail out. Once again, they don't do their fucking jobs. But luckily enough, I got down to like five boxes of um, colorful tubes. And then there's like two buggies and like one box full of um, the whatever had to come out. I think I'm just going to put the buggy on the lift because there it's about the same size and length of like two boxes. So it's just, as long as you have the chain around it, the buggy's got like that little, like, like this and kind of like, you know, little thing on it. So it should, if the buggy kind of moves, the chain should snag underneath it to where it can, you know, but <clears throat> Yeah, so I had like five boxes left, and I didn't get to do any of them because the fucking people didn't come down to do the fucking the uh, the tubes. So, but I did two box, uh, two bales of tubes. I did two car uh, box or bales of cardboard, and then a bale of carpet this morning. Pretty much when I left, everything that was left there was stuff I just I couldn't do. Like there was a small stack like this high of cardboard. Can't do it. There's nothing else to, you know, cause that's not even a bale. That's not even halfway in the fucking baler. So couldn't do that. There was like one box of carpet. Can't do that. There's only six boxes of fucking uh, of plastic. Can't do that. So I'm like, okay, well, I look at the time. I'm like, okay, well, they're not coming down to get the fucking tubes. So I can't finish up over there and I'm all done over here. It's like 1230. I'll just fucking leave. So. So I left. And I mean, good thing I stayed in close enough to one because uh, I had to wait till fucking 233 o'clock to be fucking picked up. I called them like, yeah, did um, you know, Jackie or Robert cancel their trip today? You know, Robert, I knew canceled his because he didn't even show up. And then Jackie, I, I looked outside. I'm like, yeah, he's probably not going to cut grass today because it's fucking raining out. But wouldn't you know, you know, 12, 15 or so rolls around, just like fucking stops raining. He usually gets out of dialysis at like 1230, 1245. So I'm like, of course not. So I guess I'll have to fucking sit here and wait. I passed out. I fell asleep. I'm like sitting in the lobby in the chair. There's the window right near me. I've got my head like partially up, you know, leaning against the uh, the windowsill. 
I just fucking passed out. Like, I caught myself snoring. That's how deep of a sleep I was in. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone else could hear me fucking snoring, too. But I'm fucking... T- I, I didn't get any sleep last night. Um, I worked all day yesterday. Busted my ass to get that shit done. Got no sleep. Went to work today. Did the same fucking thing. So... Please sponsor me, Monster Senpai. Like, what's up? Monster, will you sponsor this man already? I had a lot of people doing that back in the day. Like, I was, I would drink Monster a lot more than I do now. And everyone was like, Monster, will you just fucking sponsor this man already? He reeks of desperation. No, that's his natural scent. No, um. But yeah, it was hot. It's fucking a hundred like 50 fucking degrees in there like it it is not fun and it sucked because it was such a nice day out at the beginning of the day like in the morning it was nice out last night when it was raining fucking gorgeous it was gorgeous i went outside it was nice and cool everyone loved it everyone was walking around having fun um but yeah it was i was sitting outside with miko and lilith and meowzy and it was fucking nice out last night. And usually by that time of day, I'm sitting out there, and I'm in the chair out there, and I'm fuck, fucking falling asleep just from hearing the sound of the rain. So, I'm just a simple man. I'm just a simple man. I go outside to hear the rain fall on the roof, I fall asleep. And if it wasn't so goddamn fucking hot, I'd love to have the fucking window open. But no. So that's only something I can do in like, winter you know fall winter when it's cool enough like 50 degrees 40 50 like 40 50 degrees it's fine to have your window open you know you just cover yourself with a fucking blanket you'll be fine you know maybe have you know normally i just sleep in a t-shirt and boxers so maybe just throw on some pajama pants and you'll be fine so but i love listening to the rain uh when i'm falling asleep but because the AC shuts off, obviously, and I can't really hear it over the fan. I don't want to shut the fan off because I don't get really fucking hot in here. Because obviously it's circulating whatever cool air is in here. Keeps it cool until that turns back on. One thing after another. <clears throat> but, yeah, it was hot. I'm surprised I even got what I got done today. I'm just, and it, it's it's like, I'm going to go to work on Friday, and there's going to be like 50 more fucking boxes. So me busting my ass for the last two days isn't going to mean anything. But if that's the case, if I go to work on Friday and there is another 50 fucking boxes, she's, she's got to do something about this. Because I'm already working two fucking bailers, and it already takes me my entire time just to do one bailer. You know, if they have two fucking people down at the saw cutting the tubes... You don't need two people. It's a one-person job. If you're going to have two people, and they have a forklift down there usually, so if you're going to have two people, one person can bail the tubes, and one person can cut. Instead, you have a person, they're both right next to each other, they're, the rack has the tubes on it, the one person just takes it off the rack, puts it on the thing, and the person, the other person cuts it. Why? Why do you need two people doing that shit? So if I go there Friday, and there's another 50 goddamn boxes, I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, John, don't play that. John just busted his fucking ass trying to catch up on 50 goddamn boxes. I'm not doing this shit again. I'm not fucking doing it. Especially when the fucking forklift drivers don't do their job. I ask at 10 o'clock for the bail to move, be moved out. I fucking leave at 1. Still not done. So... <clears throat> I just feel like completely drained. I ate when I got there. I had those little sausage cheese croissant sandwich things that I like so much. But that was at like fucking 740, like 740. So within a few minutes, those were completely worked off and I've been fucking starving. So I got me a, um, 
just uh went out and got some, a few cans, but I just had some uh chicken um chicken breast and just had some of that um what is it? I don't even remember what it is. Uh yeah, this stuff the bacon and tomato ranch or not ranch uh, mayonnaise. This is really fucking good. It's just a perfect amount of bacon and tomato. And it's new. So if you haven't tried it, I was going to do a, a John's food review, but I tried it before I had a chance. and I didn't want to, you know, make it seem like it was my first time trying it when it really wasn't. But this stuff's really fucking good. Um, so, but yeah, and mixed in that. and I've got some fucking tortillas and cheese and just like made little freaking chicken salad taco things. Um, <clears throat> I'm creative. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was fucking starving. I was like on the way home and I'm like, can I just fucking get home now so I can eat? I didn't even want to go out today, but I only had, I know I have to take Scusa uh, to and from work on Friday. So I'm like, okay, I've already went out today, you know, because of work. Yeah, you know, I don't feel like having to go out last second on Thursday. I'm like, let me just go out now, just get shit done, pull out money for Scusa, and get some stuff. Some stuff. Some stuff. Some stuff um but yeah <clears throat> ugh is it fucking winter yet or fall can't fucking stand this heat anymore I really can't I'm too fat for this fucking heat and I would have thought with the amount of work I do at the factory and the amount that I have to fucking sweat you would think I'd be, you know, fucking thin at this point. But nope, I barely eat. I work more than I eat. And I'm not, I mean, I'm losing, you know, I lose weight little by little, but it's not like this huge, not like, it. it's not like it was the first time where I went from fucking like 315 to 270 in like two months. It's not that. It's like a pound a month or so at this point. Like where it's noticeable, but not like, oh my God, I'm so proud of myself. I eat, like I said, I eat like once a day. Um, and if I do eat multiple times a day, it's like I said, it's, you know, it's a thing of chicken salad or um, like if I'm at work, if I eat before work, it all gets worked off anyway. So, <clears throat> so, and then when I get to go to Ingles, I usually have, that's when I get like those um little salads and stuff like that. So, I don't eat much, so, but that's another reason why, you know, probably not losing weight, because you need a certain amount of calories, you know, metabolism and stuff like that, so. <clears throat> but it's whatever, I really don't care at this point, I really don't care anymore. I'm at the point, I'm only 34, but I've just, I've, I've just, I just, I don't care anymore. I really don't. My life is literally the same every fucking day. It's like a fucking cat or dog. It's going through life, you know, it's going through these movements. Probably, I'd probably piss and shit about it as much as a fucking cat and dog do. Or more like a hamster. I'm like a little fucking, I'm like a little fucking hamster in a wheel. You know, it's just repeating itself all the time and you, you don't realize it's repeating. Until you're fucking old and you realize that your whole life has just been the same fucking thing every goddamn day. <sighs> Brought to you by now. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Moral of the story is it's fucking hot. Not much I can do about that. If I could change the weather, at least for myself, I would. Anyways, you know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.